Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. So we have um, we have the privilege of having two keynote speakers today. Um, can you hear me? Oh, looks like I have volume. Can you increase the volume? Is this better? Better? Still saying go up. Is that? It's like it might be okay, Jim. All right, let's get the thumbs up. Okay, so we have um, two keynote speakers today. One is Steve Miley, who's our associate administrator for Marshall, um, and then Tia Ferguson. So Steve Miley is the associate director of Marshall, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, where he manages and leads development of the center's business op operations, guides daily business decisions, and oversees center operational policy and processes. In addition, he serves as a senior advisor in advancing the direction of the center's future. Miley has had numerous positions at NASA since joining the agency in 1992, including contracting officer, procurement analyst, manager and contract negotiator at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C. and at Johnson Space Center in Houston. At Marshall, he has served as associate director for operations and Marshall's engineering director and as director of Marshall's Office of Procurement. Please welcome Mr. Steve Miley. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Good afternoon. What a cozy little auditorium here. This is nice, is. isn't it? I've not been in here yet. I don't think I've been. I've been over to, to this Campus 805, but hadn't been in this room. I like it. Um, before I, uh, I just had a few sort of introductory remarks. I just told Tia the only reason I'm here is, is to introduce her. Tia Ferguson, but anyway, um, how many of you um, have not been to Huntsville until now, until this this trip? Okay, good. We have a, welcome to Huntsville. A lot of new Huntsville. And then, how many of you um, have not been? Also, maybe you've been to Huntsville, but you haven't been to Marshall. Have been have been on site at Marshall? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, good, good. Well, I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, Huntsville and Marshall to kind of um, give you a little background on, on what's going on here and what we're working on at Marshall. So I just wanted to gauge your familiarity with it. Um, You're, uh, as I understand it, you're participating in this software workshop from both industry and government. Is that right? Both, um, I think, APL, JPL. Yeah, good. So um, we've, we've got a pretty full plate. How many of you have a full plate at work? How can you even take time to come to this offsite, right? <laughs> You got a full, I know you got a full plate. I know you're, you're busy. And I know we're real busy at Marshall with flight software. We've got a few things going on, haven't we? Um, so it's, that's a good thing. It's a good thing to be in demand. Your skill is in high demand, is it not? Um, what you do is really, really important. And in fact, without what you're doing, none of our, none of our space missions, manned or unmanned, would be possible. Um, so it's good to be able to get together, share ideas. I haven't seen all of your agenda, but I know it'll be productive. Uh, it, it's good to get together and share ideas, especially in the world of, of spacecraft and, um, managing these systems for human spaceflight. Um, let's see now. I know I see Stephanie. I recognize you and I recognize Tia and Lisa. Uh, let's see who else, see if I recognize. See, I need my glasses. Okay. Um, but I do see a few familiar faces out there. I met you before, Scott. So, um, welcome to Huntsville. Um, we think that we're a big deal. You ever go into a, um, what do you call it, into a, uh, I want to call it a swap meet, but it's not a swap meet. It's um, 
Flea market, yeah. You ever go to the flea market, you see something really high priced and the person is real proud of it? It's obvious they're real proud of it. <laughs> well, that's what we are. We're real proud of Huntsville. We're, we're proud of Marshall. We know we're high priced. No, I'm just kidding. But we, we are proud of what we do here. We're proud of, of our role that we get to play for, um, for NASA and the missions that we've been assigned at Marshall. But likewise, uh, we know that we can't get any of it done without collaboration across all of our different uh, areas, both in industry, um, places like JPL and APL, um, and our other NASA centers. So, yeah, we're proud of what we do here. We're proud of being the home of the SLS program, and um, but we're also recognizing every day that what we do is based on a collaborative effort. And we learn from a lot of the other folks at the other, at the other uh, locations, other centers, like I say, both, both industry and academia, um, as well as um, NASA centers. So just to give you a little background on Huntsville, in case you, you if you're one of the ones that, that hasn't been here before, we do have a large research park here, it's called um, Cummings Research Park, and it's kind of had offshoots uh, building off of that, and it's the second largest research park in the in the country. So you think of Huntsville as being fairly small. It's on its way to becoming the um, largest city in Alabama, um, but you don't generally think about, you know, Huntsville, Alabama as being a, um, a, a large concentration of research, but there in fact is um, largest concentration in the country of, of engineers. And um, while at the same time, a lot to um, keep us busy here, a lot of workload, both NASA and DOD, uh, we also have a great place to live. So we're always recruiting, ask Tia, we're always recruiting at, uh, to here. And um, so take a look around. You might enjoy coming to Huntsville at some point in your career. Um, it, it has a good mixture of um, activities and things that you can do. I mean, we're not on the, you know, it's not like we're sitting on the, on the seaboard or anything like that, but we do have a lot, of, a lot of things to offer here. And we also have very affordable home prices, at least so far we still do. I was reading an article in the Sunday paper. Yes, I read the physical hard paper. How many of you read a hard paper? Anybody still read the new? Okay, so I'm an old fogey. You guys are young, and I'm an old fogey that still reads a hard, a hard copy newspaper. But anyway, there's an article explaining that even though we have the 44,000 folks that come on to the Redstone Arsenal each day right now, by 2020. Four, we are supposed to be at 50,000. And if you ever have visited and waited in line at the gate, um, you're, you're, you know, I know I'm thinking, yikes, how is this going to work to get into that gate? But anyway, yeah, so supposed to be going up to 50,000 employees coming on to the, to the arsenal each day. And of course, that includes a lot of the DOD, the Army, the Missile Defense Agency. FBI is growing a lot. They're, they're bringing on board over the next few years around three to 4,000 employees. And then, of course, Marshall Space Flight Center, which has around 6,000 employees and really an impact to um, across all the programs that we execute at Marshall of about 47,000 jobs. So even, even though about 6,000 jobs locally in the Huntsville area, there's approximately 40 to 45,000 um, uh, economic impact as far as jobs created through all the contracts that we issue around the country. And I feel like I've got a really bad echo in here. Is it, do y'all hear that? Okay. If you can, I, I feel like I've got too much reverb or something, but, uh, so what is Marshall involved in? Of course, we're involved in the SLS and we really consider ourselves to be actively engaged in everything it takes to get from earth to the moon, eventually to Mars, and home safely again. So we, of course, are supporting many parts of the International Space Station that's been on orbit over 20 years now and, um, and, and crewed. Um, 
Living and working in space is one of the areas that we focus on in terms of our technologies and things that we design and build at Marshall. Also, we have a lot of science work that we do in heliophysics and planetary physics. Um, we call that theme of Marshall work, understanding our world and beyond. And we are involved in Earth science as well. As far as the total um, NASA goes, we're a very small part of NASA's science work and science budget, but we have a, I guess you could say we have a niche area that we're, a, a few niche areas that we work in and want to continue uh, to work in those. And then another big area that's really grown over the last decade is in our agency mission operations. And this is where we provide our network and communication support for the entire agency. Um, and we have both institutional network support as well as mission operations network support on our, on our communications um, uh, center. So we're, that area has built up a lot over the years. So between um, launching and traveling in space, supporting stations, supporting science, and then supporting um, agency mission operations, we're, we're all keeping pretty busy. Um, in the past, we've been privileged to work on, of course, the Saturn V, all three stages of Saturn V, as well as the, uh, the instrument unit on Saturn V, uh, on the part of the Apollo program. And even later developments, we were um, involved in the design of the space shuttle propulsion systems, uh, Skylab, Space Lab, and of course, you know, Hubble Space Telescope and Chandra uh, were um, uh, programmed out of Marshall. And then, of course, our latest, our latest programs that we're involved with and a big, of course, a, a, a huge uh, flight software effort on SLS and then also um, new programs coming online, uh, HLS and the overall uh, Artemis program that we're, that we're supporting and as well as um, some other things that are coming online such as nuclear thermal propulsion. Uh, it's not a large line item right now, but nuclear thermal uh, is probably something that will enable us to get uh, to get to Mars and we'll be more involved with d uh, deeper space things. Um, so as far as far as flights software goes, um, I couldn't write a single line of it. I can guarantee you that. So I'm glad you can. I'm really, I'm really grateful, grateful for all of you. I'm grateful for our um, space systems department where Tia uh, is the deputy there and where I believe most of our uh, flight software efforts are, are grown out of our uh, space systems department. But we have been able to collaborate with a lot of you with other commercial partners and, uh, and other NASA centers uh, in flight software. And also we've built up a robust capability to test it in our, in our SIL here. So um, just like we are in the middle of preparing the core stage to go to Stennis to test it, we're also doing full up uh, modeling and testing uh, here in our SIL lab for the SLS uh, rocket for the, for the entire flight, uh, flight regime. So that's a, that's a big part of the work that we do here. We're very proud of what we're, what we're you know, our contribution to that. Um, and then also, in the future, we're, we're learning how to work in a different way under a little bit of a, I would say, a little bit of a different biz business model, which is us working with industry and having, um, having a different role where we're working with them, they're calling upon us to do certain things. Um, we are less involved in the design itself, but more involved in the requirements and the requirements verification. And um, you can just say in a very short order, if you, think, if you just think back in the space economy and the space business of where we were even 10 years ago and where we are today, it's, it's been a dramatic shift in terms of what industry is able to bring to the table and even bring it in a different way where we're able to just buy a service or buy a contract uh, with less direct government design work involved in it. Um, we were just talking at our offsite last Friday 
with Jody and the, all the all the uh, senior leaders of Marshall, and and even before that, talking at the agency strategic uh, meeting with Steve Jerzyk, we were discussing the role of the civil servant and the role of NASA in spaceflight, and it was very, um, I guess, it was very eye-opening to hear and reassuring in a way to hear that there continues to be a strong role for NASA in the work, both in the design work and in the requirements development. Um, there's no shortage of workload. There's plenty of work to go around <laughs> across the agency, and the programs that we're being asked to do are uh, increasing those demands. Um, one of the things that there, there was something on the tip of my tongue, and it just, it's not in my notes, so that's, I should never vary away from my notes, but there was something else I was going to mention about, um, it went away. Anyway, maybe it'll come back before I close. But it was uh, dealing, with, dealing with the idea that we're, we're working so closely together. And the idea was that in the, um, at the International Space Station today, there are four spacecraft sitting on the, on the station right now. There are two Soyuz, there's a Cygnus, and there's a SpaceX Dragon. That's what I, I remembered, okay, so that's what I wanted to point out. But the idea, the fact that we've got these, these different spacecraft and more to come with uh, human capability to come to, sp to space station. If you'd looked back, you know, 10 years or so or, uh, ago or so, you would have thought, you know, wow, we've really, we've really come a long way in enabling our, uh, our partnerships with industry. So while you're here, I don't know um, how much free time you're going to have, but hopefully you'll be able to enjoy. If you like beer, there's, you can get that right here. So there's plenty of choices for beer. And um, hopefully you'll be able to get a chance to uh, see a little bit of Huntsville. Um, my understanding, this is like your 12th time, the 12th uh, flight, flight software workshop. So um, again, uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for allowing us to host it. Uh, to host it this time, and I hope you enjoy uh, your meeting here and enjoy your visit in Huntsville and at Marshall. And before I sit down, I'm going to introduce Ms. Tia Ferguson. And Tia, okay, so Tia is the deputy director. I'm sorry, Tia is the director. See, I'm, we're going through staff changes. I'm losing track, Tia. Anyway, Tia is the director of the Space Systems Department, and I've known Tia for for several years uh, from back, even when I was in the engineering department. Um, delightful lady, great leader, glad to have you. And congratulations on becoming the director of the engineering department, <laughs> the uh, space systems department. When did that happen? A year ago. <laughs> okay, it only was a year ago. See how connected I am?